This tutorial consists of 8 simple steps. All of the steps are in the description below. Step number 1 is to basically open a terminal window. Step 2 I like storing my games in a separate folder, so I went ahead and created a new folder called Games. Now step number 3 is to navigate inside the Games folder. Step number 4 is basically downloading all the necessary tools so that the game can be compiled on your system. Using app get, I'm going to install 4 necessary components from the internet. So the first one is called git. The second one is called GCC, the third one is called Build Essential, and the fourth and final one is called libsdl 1.2-dev. Once apt-get downloads and installs all the necessary packages, proceed to step 5. In step 5 we are using one of the tools which we have downloaded earlier, git. So we are using git to clone an online repository so basically we are cloning the source code from an online repository which is hosted on a website called github and we are cloning it from there onto your raspberry pi so as you can see the source code is now being downloaded onto your pc and depending on your internet connection this should be over pretty quickly step number six navigate inside the quake 3 folder and edit the build.sh file I'm going to use the nano text editor, but you can use any text editor which you are familiar with. Now, make sure to change only the things which I have changed here in the video, so there are basically three things you need to change. So the first one is this line called rm, dot, uh, rm underscore ellipse. The second line is this one, the very long one, and the third one is called cross compile now from the first line I'm going to remove the unnecessary file path and make sure that your uh, file configuration is the same as mine because this is pretty much universal same for the second line which I'm editing so you need to change it in the second line you need to change it in two locations at the beginning and uh, in the middle of the line and then you just need to comment out the last line using the hash sign and that's pretty much it close your text editor and we are proceeding to the next step so step number seven step number seven will be to compile the game so you compile the game running this command dot slash uh, build dot sh so we are running the file which we have just edited if you're doing this on a Raspberry Pi Model 1, so the oldest Raspberry Pis, this can take maybe up to an hour or maybe half an hour. Uh, on Raspberry Pi 2, this process is much shorter, so up to half an hour, but it can be also a lot shorter. And if you're using the latest Raspberry Pi, so in my case I'm using the Raspberry Pi Model 3B, uh, this process takes about 5, maybe 5-6 five, minutes tops, so it's pretty pretty fast. Okay, final step. We are almost there. A uh, couple of things you need to do is navigate into a folder called build, then navigate into a folder called release-linux-arm and once here you need to run this command which will basically download the necessary pack files for the game to work. I will leave all of these links in the description below so you can just copy paste them into your terminal and it should be okay so again this step is heavily heavily reliant on your internet connection so depending on how fast your internet is um, this step can take from one minute to half an hour to an hour I don't know but anyway once this step finishes we are running one more command and we are done. So the final command is to unzip the files which you have just downloaded. So once the files are unzipped into the base Q3 folder, you are done. That's it. Let's start the game. I hope this video was informative for you. 
if uh, anyone has any Linux, uh, Windows servers related questions, please post a comment and I'll do my best to answer and I might even make a video about it. But uh, that was it for today. Thank you for watching and I wish you a good day. Peace.